title of France, 3 minutes 48.68 this season. He's the fastest man in the field. Kennel from Canada, Calfrey from Tunisia, Stephi from Zimbabwe, and there is Great Britain's Jack Crabtree. 3 minutes 49.10 seconds. He enters this on pace for the second fastest in the field. Very closely matched on time this year with Liam D, who we saw in the first heat for Great Britain. USA's Blake Haney. Abdul Waba from Sudan. And Solazano from El Salvador completes the lineup. Heat number two of three then, boys, 1500 meters. Oh, that's something you don't see every day. A little bit of a jittery false start in the boys' 1500 metres. <laughs> Look at all the other athletes screaming, blaming him. It was him, it was him. They pointed at him. It's I didn't flinch. It's my fascinator. We actually saw him run yesterday as well. Anyway. It wasn't me, Governor. What did we say in London? Here we go then. The second heat of the boys' 1500 metres. Keep your eyes on the French athlete, the British athlete, and the Spaniard. They're on paper, the fastest, but this is championship running. Anything can happen. And remember, it's the first three in each heat guaranteed a place in the final. So no red card is raised, which means he doesn't lose his place in the second heat, but he gets a warning. Do it again, young man. You will be in trouble. Here we go. So away for the second time of asking in his boys' 1,500 metres. So I say no African dominance in this second heat, a mainly European affair apart from an American and Zimbabwean and an athlete from El Salvador and Sudan. And the Tunisian, there is some African interest. Yeah. <laughs> On the time vote, it's all about the French athlete, the British athlete and the Spaniard. But you just do not know. As the Sudanese athlete, another African comes out there. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong to point out the main players in this heat are from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Potentially. Because we just do not know and that's what makes it exciting. So, the main players are comfortably going round, coming round to the first 400 metres. Remember, the first 400 metres in the first heat was in 66 seconds. So, 61.70 seconds from the five seconds faster than the first heat. And already we can see, Peter, the difference in this heat. We're strung out already with only 400 metres gone. Yes, well, certainly if they've uh, taken note of the times of the first race and they realise there are fastest loser spots up there as well, this is quite sensible. But also we've got some quite uninhibited running by two Africans who are in the lead in this race ahead of the fancied Europeans just at this early stage, but it is early stage and the, the top names are certainly in there, Crabtree of Britain just tucking in behind them with the Spaniard just on the outside and also Tisson of France uh, prominently placed. They'll just be slowing up a little bit now and I think the top players must be a bit cautious of allowing the uh, athletes so they think they've set off at a good pace but then it can slow down and you can be a bit caught out. Exactly, which is why what you come into a major championship with in terms of performance gets thrown out the window in many occasions because it's different when you come to a championship, especially middle and long distance races. The sprints is outright speed, the fastest always go through, but not in the tactical middle and long distance races. So 20514, so uh, although it did slow a bit to 63, it's still way ahead of what the times were in heat one. So Abdul Waba from Sudan. He currently has the lead from the USA's Blake Haney. Well, Haney has got some good pedigree as well. I mean, he won the US trials um, just uh, 350 times, so uh, he certainly would also fancy his chances. Jack Crabtree of Great Britain and Northern Ireland comes onto the shoulder of the American. And the Spaniard, Jesus Ramos, is trying to position himself into a good position to potentially attack. So the bell goes and the American, Blake Haney, has decided to put an injection of speed. He takes on the lead from the early leader and all of a sudden we're going down the back straight. The Spaniards moved out wide as well. 
Ramos has got himself into automatic qualifying. Crabtree from Great Britain currently in fourth. But it's the American who's going to lead with 200 meters to go. It's America. It's Spain. Remember, just the first three in each of these heats automatically qualify. And the American Haney is looking very comfortable indeed. The Spaniard Jesus Ramos is in a good position. And looking over his shoulder, number 357, Tyson from France. So Sudan run out of it at the moment, as is Britain. They will have to wait, but 3 minutes 51.96. And the American, Blake Haney, as Peter said, 3 minutes 50.55. He's having a good season. He's this youth 1500 metre runner. And he brought home that second heat of the boys 1500 metres. Good job there from Blake Haney. Very confident run. And his breakaway.